YouTubers, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone. And what you see here is my Glock 20 in 10 millimeter caliber. Now we pan over here and you see my Virginian Dragoon in 44 Magnum caliber. What do these two have in common? Well, what's in common is that I shot both these guns today at the range with bullets that are too small for them. So, YouTubers, you know that this Bitterroot Valley ammo in 10 millimeter was very inaccurate in my Glock 20 about a week and a half ago. Shot big groups and flyers all over the place. Well, YouTubers, because another load shot well in this Glock 20 and the Bitterroot Valley ammo did not, I'm suspecting that the Bitterroot Valley ammo has bullets that are improperly sized. And that's why we went ahead and pulled one of the factory bullets. Well, YouTubers, there it is. 0.398. That's 0 0.002. Too small for a jacketed bullet. Jacketed bullets should match the bore of a semi-automatic pistol, like a Glock 20. Because this bullet's small, you will not get filling of the rifling, and you'll get very inaccurate ammunition, which is what this is. The loading manuals recommend bullets that are .400 for jacketed bullets. If you're going to load lead bullets, by the way, that would be an aftermarket Glock barrel. Aftermarket barrel like a lone wolf, you would use .401 inch lead bullets, cast lead bullets. So cast lead bullets should be .001 over bore diameter in a semi-automatic pistol. And this is pretty far from that. A small bullet is poison. For Bitterroot Very Valley Ammo Company to use bullets that are smaller than spec is unconscionable. The ammo will not be any good. Well, YouTubers, I was at the range today shooting these 240 grain Lee semi wide cutter 44 Magnum bullets that actually mic out at 430 inches. Let you see that. 4305. These are as cast because tumble lube design. 4305 is perfect. But when I shot these bullets, this ammo in this revolver, the accuracy wasn't good and I started getting keyholing. And keyholing is a bad sign of leading. Sure enough, I had to use this lead remover cloth. Looks like this one, it's new. And I put new lead remover cloth on this brush. And that's what it looks like when you use this lead removal brush to remove leading from your barrel. Well, I got it almost clean and I'll shoot some jacketed ammo through this and that'll finish the job. But why did we get such bad performance in accuracy, keyholing, and leading? And here's the reason why. Do you see the portion that's actually full caliber right there? Of this lead bullet? When you put it into the chamber throat, it just goes right in. That is a bad sign. If you use bullets that are too small for your chamber throats, you'll get leading, bad accuracy, and perhaps even keyholing if the leading gets bad enough. And that's what we got An today. The idea, we'll just grab a few of these and the bullets should not just drop through the chamber throats. Six bullets, and they all just drop right through. What that means is the bullets are too small. They need to be a little larger than, it, than this opening, and that will give us the best performance. If, it's, if the bullets are too small, it's like poison. Put this another way, if you were to go ahead and mic your chamber throats, you would get 0.4365, which means you need bullets that are 0 0.437 to perform best in this revolver. 
0.437. Well, these are 0 0.430, so no wonder they don't shoot well. No wonder you get leading and uh, keyholing, because these are 0 0.007 too small. So, YouTubers, the problem is this gun. This gun has chamber throats that are 0 0.007 too large. Most guns in 44 Magnum caliber measure 0 0.429 so that our .430 bullets will be perfect, but not in this gun because this has oversized chamber throats by .007. So YouTubers, you see that I only fired 26 rounds today before this gun had to be put away because it was keyholing and leading, and so more shooting would have only caused the entire barrel to be leaded. Not a good idea. So I quit at 26 rounds just to show that Shooting smaller bullets than your gun needs is poison.